Hello YouTube. This is Reefer Lady. I think it's been two weeks since I have uh, made my last posting. Since then, as you can see, I have stocked a tank. So, and I've also added some coral there over to the left. As you can see, I have T5s, only um, two bulbs going at the moment just because I'm breaking in the lights to the tank. Um, I have quite a bit of fish. Uh, I think the first week I put in half and this, this last weekend I just put in another 10 or so. Mostly the chromis um, and the antheus. Those two, the pair of antheus on the side there, those are beautiful. And also the angel fish with the, right here, the angel fish, where did it go? It's in the back with the yellow eyes. Wow, they're beautiful. Anyway, um, it's I got some skunk cleaner shrimp in there and also a red scarlet that's hanging at the bottom in there. Um, and so this is kind of what it looks like right now. I first put in Talbots um, a couple weeks ago. And the Talbots are this, that one right there. I had seven of them, seven of them. The local fish store said it would be okay to put them all into the tank. There's one right there. They like to to burrow in a hole in the sand, uh, kind of at the bottom. And um, he said it would be okay to keep seven. I bought seven, and they fight. They're kind of a damsel, and right now it seems like I have an equilibrium where there's maybe two that are getting along fine uh, maybe two more are hiding somewhere in the rock work and then um, this one right here in prison uh, was being chased and I saved his life and put him in prison I might take him back to the store because um, they'll just bully him until he's um, dead so I did have a couple of dead ones because they were bullied to death um, so if I would suggest in a 40 gallon Talbots, maybe two or three, um, they're territorial, um, and once they kind of bond and get along with each other, then there's not as much fighting as you can see right there. There's two of them in the back. And if there are a couple more, I don't see them very much. So we'll see if they come out for feeding tonight. Um, the Chromis are a great addition to the tank because it kind of distracted the Talbots a little bit from fighting. Um, so that they're beautiful too also under the, um, the lights. They have a, a green shimmer, green blue shimmer. Um, and they do school somewhat. Um, also I have right here you see a purple dart fish or purple firefish. I got lucky I got two of them and um, I heard that they fight, but these two have, it looks like they're bonded because one is in here and there it goes. And there's that one. They kind of get along and they kind of burrow in the same, they kind of hide out in the same rock cut, uh, hole. So I got lucky. I kind of want to get some, I think they're Helfrichi firefish also, but I'm not sure. Those are a hundred dollars each and I'm not sure if they'll get along well with these guys I heard that they, they're fighters um, here's the tail spot Blenny I have two of those and sometimes the other one hangs out up here so there he is I was gonna turn have these um, these uh, these pump things uh, turn on alternately like six hours in the morning, eight hours in the morning, and the other one, the, that one over there in the morning, and then have one turn on at night, but I don't think I'm going to have this one turn on by itself because this guy has find, found out that he likes to stay there. Um, filtration. So the system's going well. Right now I have the skimmer off because I put some... Um, plankton um, reef, um, phyto feast in there for the um, paws and things so I don't want the, the skimmer to skim that out so I turned off the skimmer 
and um, here is the refugium. And I kind of put some more filtration media in there and it's growing pretty well. Um, I'd like to increase the pod count because I have um, some a ruby red and a dragonette in the main display tank so I want to make sure that um, I have some pods going around all the time. So, and then also, I know it looks like a mess right now, but uh, I, this is the control board where I'm going to screw everything to. I haven't really yet screwed everything because I want to make sure everything's working and situated first before I start screwing things down. So, that's kind of what that looks like. And, and there's the back of the tank. Do you have a little bag of, you see the bag hanging out at the top of the overflow box. I have a bag of just phosphate remover in there just a little bit and then there's um, just remove any phosphate, excess phosphates. So that's it. I've stopped right now so I might put in a few more fish. Not sure if it can handle it. Then here we have my old fit, my previous tank that I've had for two years and there's a couple of file fish in there, a couple of clowns, a six line, a uh, yellow watchman, and a lot more blenny. I will be moving over the file fish and not sure about the six line because I hear they go after shrimp. And then the clowns I might want, uh, these are my pets, I've had them for two years, but I kind of want a new design as well, and I want one that that's not too big, they're, they're not too big to introduce into the other tank because uh, I would, don't want them to get into a fighting mode if that's, if that's what they might do. So I thought maybe smaller clowns might be better to introduce in the display tank. Um, so slowly retrofitting and I'm just slowly cleaning out this tank and maybe figuring out what I want to do with this in the future. All right. Keep you posted. Bye.